Hi everyone. Yes, I know. Yet another blue shirt. I'm sorry. I just recently realized that. I'll try and mix it up again in the future. So there was this young boy who unfortunately was in a horrific car accident at a very young age. As a result of the car accident, he lost his left arm. Uh, he wouldn't let this deter him though, and by the time he was 10, he told his parents that he wanted to take up judo. So they signed him up for a gym, and the sensei immediately took a liking to him. Really liked, uh, you know, how hard this kid worked. And he started to show him this one move. And he would show kids in the class, you know, other kids in the class, other moves. And he was wondering about this. Uh, and he asked sensei, you know, sensei, can I learn other moves? And sensei said, no, you stick with this move. So undeterred, he continued to work on this move. He worked at it, worked hard, day in, day out. He stuck, stuck with it. So they started to have tournaments, and he started to do fairly well in them. And so his sensei signed him up for a regional tournament, a much bigger tournament. And he lined up with uh, some of the best in the region, and he did the first match, and he won. Second match was quite a bit harder, but he won that as well. And ultimately, he was in the championship match. And he's lined up against a very good, uh, very good fighter. And the match went on quite a ways with nobody really gaining the upper hand. And then finally, the boy saw the opportunity, used his move, and then pinned this very difficult opponent. And he won the match. So everybody was very happy and, you know, gave him his, uh, his trophy. At the end of the, the match, he went to Sensei and he said, you know, Sensei, you know, how did you know that that was the move uh, that was going to work for me? And he says, well, he says, that is one of the hardest moves in Judo. And because you focused on it and worked hard, you mastered that move. And secondly, there is but one defense for that move. The defense is to grab the opponent's left arm. So they turned his weakness into a strength. So we can learn a number of things from this. We have a weakness. We all have a collective weakness right now, which is this pandemic. Our one move is do everything we can to make sure that we, we stop spreading the, the virus. So we need to continue to do this. We also can learn, of course, hard work pays off. Once you focus on something, work really hard at it, it will ultimately reap rewards at the end. Thomas Edison had a great saying at one time, said, opportunity is often missed by people because it's dressed in overall, overalls and looks like work. That's it for now. As always, be kind, stay positive, and as the legendary Red Green used to say, keep your stick on the ice.